All right, guys, I have a brand new video idea that I've never done before. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a jar, then I'm gonna put items inside the jar, then I'm gonna put a liquid inside the jar, then I'm gonna let it sit for 30 days, and then we're gonna see what happens. Sound like a good idea? All right, let's do it. Our liquid of choice for today's video is going to be hydrogen peroxide. I know a lot of you requested for me to leave things in hydrogen peroxide, so I figured we'd do it. So I have five items, really six, but five main items and then a bonus item. Our first item that we're gonna be putting in the jar, meat. <laughs> Get in there, what are you doing? Well, let's put all three of them in there, why not? Jam them down in there. Item number two, oh, ballistics gel. Obviously this whole thing isn't gonna fit inside the jar. We're gonna have to cut a little piece off. So I'm just gonna use my little knife to do that. Stuff is a lot tougher than I thought. I was hoping to get a nice clean cut, but I don't think that's gonna happen. That's a pretty good chunk. At least try to even this up a little bit. I mean, geez. Is this sword not sharp enough? All right, we'll try out this sword. Uh, oh, this one seems to be having a little bit more success. I will just rip that off. Okay, it's two good slabs of ballistics gel. Rip some of it up into tiny pieces. We'll just go with that much. Next up, we have Elmo. A little stuffed Elmo. And one in the last one where I left things, or in one of the last ones where I left things in acetone, we did a Barbie, we'll do Elmo. I'm sure he wants to be in a jar full of hydrogen peroxide. Next up, atomic fireballs. That'll do it. Oh, I don't know about you, but I do not like atomic fireballs. They smell horrible. So this is gonna be a process, putting all these in here one by one. Oh, that was loud. I think that's good enough. Let's move on to the next one. Our fifth item, walnuts. I don't have any idea what to expect with this. That should be enough. And now our bonus item, and you'll see why it's not a main item because it may or may not do anything. A piece of metal, just a piece of mild steel. Just because I want to see what it does. So that's why it's the bonus item. All right. Let's start filling these jars up with hydrogen peroxide. All right guys, we have all six of our items in our jars filled with hydrogen peroxide. As you can see, most of them don't look like they're, anything is really going on except for the steak. You can tell it looks like it's about to foam over any minute, so I don't know what's going on in there, but something's happening. And then it looks like the fireballs are kind of dissolving. Other than that, I can't tell anything's really happening. This Elmo, it, I don't know this for sure, but it appears that it has some type of like waterproof coating on it or something because as you saw when I poured it in it just started like just rising up and it's I can t I can look at it and see that that it's not that the hydrogen peroxide isn't absorbing into the into the stuffed Elmo so hopefully over time that the peroxide will kind of like you know eat away at that coating and then it'll be actually be able to absorb into the stuff into the the stuffing other than that doesn't look like a whole lot's going on so we'll see you in 30 days
right guys, so obviously it's been 30 days, so let's start opening these jars up, see what's going on. Let's just, let's just jump right into the, the grossest item, which is the steak. I really, now theoretically this shouldn't smell because it is hydrogen peroxide, and of course the smell comes from the bacteria, so there shouldn't be any bacteria in here, but that doesn't mean anything. And it looks very, very swollen, and there's like... There's something flaking off of it. Oh, it smells. Yeah, there's definitely a smell. Ugh. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Okay. There's definitely, there's definitely a smell. It's not that bad. I've definitely smelled worse, such as the, whatever I left, um, Oreos and milk for 30 days. That one was way worse than this. So let's check out this meat. You know, honestly, this is actually very strong still. This just feels like uh, just regular raw meat. I, I figured, I would have thought that the peroxide, I figured it would have dissolved the meat. Or at least made it like, maybe not dissolved it, but made it just like so tend, not I don't know if tender is the right word, but just like would have, I don't know, done something to it to where it would just, you know, just like fall apart really easy. But that doesn't seem to be the case. This just feels like just regular raw meat. It's just colored different and has a weird smell. Cause it's still, yeah, it's just, that's not any weaker than raw meat would be. Nothing really happened too much. Just kinda, maybe it preserved it a little bit or something. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> still pretty cool. Next up, let's look at our ballistics gel. This also, doesn't look like a whole lot happened to it. If I can get this out of here. It looks like maybe it uh, might have swelled up a little bit, maybe. Of course, there's not really a way for me to, like, measure it. Um... Yeah, maybe it swelled up a little bit. It definitely feels more... Ah, uh, maybe it didn't. I don't know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't feel like anything happened to it though. Yeah, it's still... It's not weak. It obviously didn't dissolve or do anything weird. Normal ballistics gel. I'm not entirely sure why this whole pan is like, foaming up now. Huh. Is it because it's like in open air? Wow, this whole thing. Is it sanitizing the pan from the meat? I guess hydrogen peroxide doesn't affect ballistics gel. All right, moving on. We're just gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way. The metal bar. I'm 99% sure. Absolutely nothing has happened to it whatsoever. Um, maybe it got a little bit rusty, perhaps. I was thinking maybe it would rust or something, but and it, it might have just had a little bit of rust on it before. Basically nothing, so nothing interesting. Next up, we have fireballs. It looks to me like the majority of them are dissolved. Mmm, that, sm that smells way better than that meat did. It smells like a, like a cinnamon air freshener or something. Oh, they're all stuck at the bottom. I wonder if I can coax them out of here. Ooh, ooh, all right, we got some. Let's see what's going on here. Oh! 
Ooh. It's just kind of like a... I, I don't know what to compare it to. It's like... Like taffy, maybe? Like a really melted, like... Like a melted chocolate bar? Like a melted taffy type of thing? <laughs> it's oddly satisfying, actually. Because it's it has like a... It has kind of like a thicker consistency, kind of like a, um, kind of like clay maybe, but it's kind of like melty, like a, like a melty type of clay or something. I, I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure, I kind of doubt that this has anything to do with the hydrogen peroxide itself. I'm sure that if you put fireballs inside of a jar full of water, that the same thing would probably happen. So if you put fireballs and hydrogen peroxide, they dissolve. All right, next up is Elmo. And it doesn't look like a whole lot happened, to be honest. It looks like, well, not, not that it looks like, it did eventually absorb some of the hydrogen peroxide, because if you remember in the beginning, it was kind of full up to the top, and it was kind of, you know, not absorbing any, any of the liquid, but it does appear to have absorbed some liquid at least from the neck down. Oh yeah. Just ring him out here. Let's see what's, see what's happened. Has it made him, oh, has it made it weaker? It doesn't appear so. Hmm. He's got like beads in him or something. Let's cut them open and see what's in there. All right, Elmo, show me what you're made of. <laughs> Sword's still sharp. Oh, it's got like a, like a pack of beads. Oh, come on. There we go. So what are these beads? We wanna know what these beads are. That doesn't make any sense. Just little clear beads for nothing. Hydrogen peroxide doesn't really affect, affect a, a little plush toy. All right, and last but not least, we have the walnuts. I'm really curious about these because I don't know what has happened. I feel like, I think that kind of tells me my answer right there. I was kind of thinking that the, uh, the hydrogen peroxide would have softened up the shells a lot. Oh, it did. Kind of. Oh. Huh. Yep. It softened up the shells. Oh. Yeah, that did pretty much what I expected. It softened up the shells. Let's see just how much it softened up the shells because I do still have some walnuts that have not been in anything. So let's test that. All right, here's a walnut that has not been inside of any liquid or anything. Maybe both hands. Uh, <laughs> maybe walnuts just aren't that strong. I remember these, I thought walnuts were like, I remember them being really, really strong. Let's see. Maybe it didn't weaken them that much. All right, here's another walnut, fresh. It's not been in any type of liquid. See if I can crush it. Ooh, this one's a little tougher. Oh, maybe this one, maybe this one was just weak. This one's definitely, this one's not messing around. Ooh. I guess it weakened them a little bit, maybe, but nothing really happened. I guess this hydrogen peroxide just, <laughs> I figured it would be way more, like, it would do more than this to the stuff. Oh well, I guess this video is just gonna be kinda one of the boring ones or whatever, but 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.